Sarah. Okay, so today we have a lot of news. And because I have a lot of news, I might not talk about each topic for a lot of time. I might just briefly talk about it. But anyway, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. You wanna go, you wanna No, 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 I don't want my face to be that. I'm too sexy to the camera. <laughs> um, I would like to say that my leg shaving is way important than what the fuck this Larry shit is about. <laughs> yeah, Annie just shaved her legs. It's like all silky and stuff like that is top fucking news at this point. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're talking about. And we're running out of time, so back to what I was saying. Shut the fuck up. Larry sucks my dick all the time. LSD. Okay, so basically in this article with Simon, he made it sound like he hated Liam and Niall and he was on Louie and Harry's team or side. He's like, yeah, I just chill back with Louie and Harry and we like reflect on our memories and the times we had before. So it seems like he was all like buddy-buddy with them. And people have been saying the reason why he said that is because he knows he's fucked and he has no more control over them. He knows that Louie and Harry are gonna gang up on him and win. So it says the X Factor and AGT judge explained, I'm very close with some of them, like Louis Tomlinson and Harry Styles as an example, and the great thing about those two is that we sit back and we laugh about all the crazy times we had and the fun times we had and they've enjoyed it. You have to look at it that way because it's not a prison sentence, continued Cowell, it's an opportunity. However, Cowell admits he would have liked for the former band members to reach out to him about their solo projects. Yeah, but Simon, the boys aren't with you anymore, they don't need you, so they're not going to tell you what they're up to. Simon just needs to come to terms with the fact that the boys aren't under him anymore anymore and he has no more power over them. And he's sad about that. This says, I thought Louie and Harry hated each other. Simon, isn't that what your buddy Dan Wooten said? Now you're saying that they both hang out with you at the same time? OMG, I thought they despised each other. I'm so confused. Hello, sarcasm, my old friend. Can you just pick a side for once? Either say that they hate each other or say that all three of you are best friends. You can't choose both. And can we also acknowledge the fact that he made sure to save their lives on a prison? That he actually made sure to clarify that he didn't do anything to make their lives terrible? He's basically saying, these boys will tell you that I have made them go through a living hell, but you shouldn't believe them. You shouldn't believe your idols and you should believe me, Satan Cowell. I did ruin their lives, but I can't lose my money, so just make sure not to listen to them and any bad thing they say about me, okay? Make sure to not look at the truth. We get it, you're desperate, but don't show it that much for God's sake. Don't keep trying too hard to say you're the innocent one and that you'll end up exposing yourself as well. It's too late for us to believe you anyway. Exactly. I don't know who Simon is trying to fool, but it's not me. This says, can this guy grow up, maybe learn to control his anger? I really like how he didn't mention Niall because Niall now left him and has his freedom. Oh, I'm sorry, I never thought someone standing up for himself would be counted as a traitor. For the millionth time, I'm just laughing at Simon pretending to be a victim. Niall didn't betray him, Niall simply decided to get the freedom he deserves. And also, like, hold up a freaking second, Louie and Harry, you're telling me that they like you? You're telling me that they have had great times with you and that you haven't made their lives a prison? We're not stupid, we're also not blind. I've never seen any of the members of One Direction, especially Louie and Harry, happy when people talk about you. Their faces literally turn from smiles to angry frowns just by hearing your name. Can he be any more stupid to think we'll believe him? And can he be any more childish and fail to show his anger even more? Yeah, as I said before, Simon's just upset that he doesn't have the boys under his control anymore. And just as this person said, it's really hard to believe that Louie and Harry have had fun times with Simon and they're just hanging out with him, reflecting on the old times. I don't know if he's lying or not, or if he's just trying to kiss up to them, but it's weird how he's trying to seem all close with Louie and Harry, like putting them as a team. And then when it comes to Liam and Niall, he like bashes them and says, Niall betrayed me. It says Simon Cowell doesn't really have hard feelings towards his lack of involvement in some of One Direction's solo projects. I hear so many things now, which they're doing, which I'm not involved with. It's a bit like I'm getting the hint you don't want me to come to the party, he told reporters Tuesday night on the America's Got Talent season. After being asked why he wasn't involved in Zayn's new show, which was inspired by the band, sorry for making you famous, Clip Simon, Malik, who left the band in 2015, is also set to release his first book. And when asked what kind of things he thinks may be divulged in the time, Cal admitted, you know what, I genuinely don't care. Yeah, he's literally like, 
sorry for making you famous to the boys and saying that he genuinely doesn't care about Zayn's new book. Well, you know what? The boys don't care about him anyway. As the other person said, he really does need to grow up. Okay, now next topic. Okay, so for a couple days now, people have been telling me that Louis banned the word Larry from his Instagram account. So basically what that means is that when you comment on his photos or anything like that, if you type the word Larry, it probably won't let you because he banned it. And the reason why he did that is because everybody kept spamming him with that word and it probably annoyed him. Like, listen, I'm a Larry and everything, but when it comes to that, I can kind of see why Louis would be annoyed by that and that's probably why he banned that word from his account. Again, we don't know the real reason why Louis did it, but it's probably because he was tired of seeing it. I'm not sure if he did it in a hateful way or if it was just for his own sake, but a lot of fans have been going around that and by spacing the letters of the word Larry so they can still type it or typing Huey or by typing Larry in parentheses, like fans are just going out of the way to still type Larry on his Instagram. And I don't understand that because do you guys really want Louis to delete his Instagram or do you guys really want Louis to lash out and say Larry's not real or just say something completely like gross on his Twitter? We don't want Louis to retaliate and say something like that. So if we don't want Louis to lash out at us and be really angry, then we shouldn't do that. I think we all need to be chill Larrys and just stop annoying Louie with that. You can still ship Larry, but not be annoying about it. Like, it's almost like fans are asking Louie to do something. And the last thing I want is for Louie to like delete his Instagram or Twitter or lash out at us. This person says, do you think it's funny how four years ago today, Louie sent out that Larry BS tweet and now we're getting Louie banning the word Larry? Coincidence? I actually didn't know that. I didn't know it was like a few years since the bullshit tweet. I can't believe it's been that long. I don't think it was four years ago and maybe it was like three years. But I don't know how much of a coincidence that is. Like if this is true, what are the chances that Louis typed a bullshit tweet a few years ago from today and now he's banned that word on his Instagram around the same time? It's like, is September the month that Louis just hates us all? <laughs> and also this got so popular that an article came out about it. It says, Louis Tomlinson has blocked another mention of his fanfic romance with Harry Styles on Instagram. I love how they start off that article by saying fanfic romance. Like that's biased. Like usually articles won't give an opinion on what they think about Larry Stylinson, but this one already went into saying fanfic romance. It says, as Louis found out the hard way, there's no escaping the Stylinson, with undeterred Larry fans quickly finding a way around this loophole, which is hilarious and yes, kind of mean. Using names such as Huey and Larry, the fans continued to plague Tomlinson online, telling him there was no escaping from Larry. LOL, you can try to run away from Larry, but remember, you'll always be part of it, said one fan. So because of this article, I feel like we're creating a bad name for ourselves. Like, don't get me wrong, I know that all fandoms can be crazy. We're not the only ones. But this is, like, really obsessive. Like, just the fact that there's now this public article about it, it's just showing us in the wrong light. And this is why we get articles saying Larry's a fanfic romance, because we look like we're just crazy, hormone-crazed girls. Now, here's an analysis someone gave about this whole Instagram thing, and also Simon. It says, I wanted to explain something I said in my rant. I was talking about how sometimes Lou Louis, Harry, the other boys, or their families deny Larry on social media because they sometimes need people to kind of give Harry and Louis their privacy. But the thing with Louis' Instagram isn't like that. I should explain that I don't think that was Louis this time. Maybe, I did say it was just a theory after all. Sometimes, it is actually one of the boys or the one of their family members that deny Larry on social media. Maybe sometimes it isn't something controlling their accounts and maybe they do it to protect Louie and Harry from being outed or from having to do more stunts. I really do think that, but this isn't like that. This, Louie blocking Larry comments on Instagram thing, still don't think he actually did, but assuming he did, it probably wasn't him. God knows Louie can't keep his anger to himself, so if he really hated Larry, he wouldn't have waited six years to take action. He would have spoke up in interviews, not left it to the social media. And God also knows that Louie Tomlinson loves Larry and Larry's, RBB and SBB, pointing at Larry fan signs and concerts, etc. So I don't think it was him. Like I said, one of Simon's team says he does control the boys' Twitter accounts, so someone probably controls their Instagram accounts as well. And to whoever does that, I would like to thank you for how incredibly clueless you are. It was such an extra move, just like everything else the people who control the boys do to deny Larry. They go out of their way to propose to deny Larry. Well, if it was just a rumor, they would let it die. They wouldn't pay attention. They wouldn't be affected by it. It's like they overdo it and it makes them go backwards instead of forwards. 
meaning that they literally confirm Larry when they want to deny it. And also this ended up making people talk about Larry even more. So if whoever did this wanted to make us stop shipping it, they actually ended up putting more attention on it. A smart move, very smart. A 10-year-old could have done a better move than this. This person literally put a spotlight on something they wanted to get rid of. This point seemed a bit unclear when I reread my previous analysis, but I was ranting, not really explaining, so I wanted to be a bit more detailed about it. Even though I do believe that sometimes no one has control over One Direction social media accounts, anyone associated with One Direction social media accounts, I definitely don't think this was Louie. I was just making a point because antis, sometimes even Larry's themselves, keep saying that they're sure it was this person on the account and no one was controlling them when they denied Larry. I definitely do think that happens sometimes, but not actually meaning to deny Larry, just trying to protect Harry and Louie. Hope that makes the point clear. I've actually thought about that a lot. Maybe the reason why Louie does lash out or somebody from the family says something that kind of seems anti-Larry. Maybe it's because they are actually trying to protect Louie and Harry's privacy and they don't want to be out yet. That's what I'm saying when it comes to things that One Direction do and what their families do, maybe it's not really what it seems. Maybe it seems bad in the moment, but maybe they're doing it for a legit reason. And this person made a really good point. If Larry wasn't real, they still wouldn't be paying as much attention to it. They would just let it go. It's kind of like what Elton John said, if a rumor never went away, it wasn't really a rumor in the first place. And we all know that Louis doesn't hate Larry's. Like the person mentioned the rainbow bondage bear, Louis pointing at Larry signs, and also Harry has done many things to prove that he loves us too. And just the whole LGBTQ community. And also I loved how this person brought up the fact that Louis has never really did denied it in interviews and he's never really made a point to actually say that Larry bothered him in an interview. He's never done anything publicly, but when it comes to his social media, he will say stuff. And that's a little bit fishy. I feel like if Larry really did bother the boys, they would say it more in interviews and they would make it clear cut. But because Louis always does this shady shit on Twitter or Instagram, it's not valid to us. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But if you guys just really think about what Louis and Harry have done for this fandom and how much they do love us and all the past stuff that's happened, you would understand that something like Louis blocking the word Larry on his Instagram really doesn't mean that much. I mean, maybe he was just annoyed by seeing it because it was random. Who cares? It's not like Louis went on his Twitter and was like, Larry's not real. This person also said, very clever of Louis if he did it, because now he gets showered with the Larry word because everyone tries if it's true. That's also something I didn't think about. The fact that Louis banned the word Larry, or allegedly, that now makes people want to go to Louis's Instagram and type out the word Larry and try it. And they'll like type L space, A space, you know, like etc. Or they'll try other ways to write it because they want to see if it's true. So by Louis doing this, it almost makes people just want to try it even more. It like brings more attention to Larry. I just say if you're a Larry, don't go overboard and please respect Louis. Next topic. A few days ago, we got new pictures of Louis walking around and he actually looks really good. The fringe is back. Well, actually, he's always kind of had the fringe, but he looks really good. I feel like he looks more healthy and like usual, Danielle is with him. And in a couple of the pictures, yes, they're holding hands. But then someone noticed something. They said first picture they were alone, second picture they were with paparazzi. So if you guys look at the first picture, it's really blurry and that's because it wasn't from paparazzi. They're not holding hands. But then the second picture that is paparazzi, because it's more high quality, they are holding hands. I don't know, I'm not saying that Louie and Danielle have to hold hands all the time, but like, what are the chances that the paparazzi picture, the high quality picture, has them holding hands like they're playing it up for the cameras and then the one that's blurry like they don't know paparazzi's around because their back is to the camera they're not holding hands but it says louie and danielle were in west hollywood and visited a furniture store and that's not a hundred percent confirmed so i don't get it harry was at a furniture store and we thought stuff about that but now louie and danielle are at a furniture store i mean danielle could be helping louie and harry move into their house i would like to think that or maybe it's nothing i don't know
And then, okay, this was the best part. We got someone who saw them in person. So this says, OMG, you can tweet this if you want. When we first saw them, they were holding hands and looked like they were on a cute date. They seemed like they wanted to get away before a ton of people saw them. It didn't look fake. Emphasis on the, it didn't look fake. Okay, hold up. We need to talk about this because this is really, really, really important. If somebody saw Louie and Danielle in public, and this sounds like a person who's not really in the fandom, I don't know. If Louie and Danielle are a real couple, why did the person have to emphasize that it wasn't fake? Like for instance, if I see this couple walking down the street and I'm telling someone about it, I'm not gonna say, oh, by the way guys, it didn't look fake. Like that's just so weird. It's like you know it's fake, but you're trying to prove to somebody that it's definitely not fake. Like the person shouldn't have even said that, it's so weird. And it's also kind of weird to me how they had to mention that they were holding hands. Like if they're together, they probably were. So the fact that you have to point that out. I feel like this person was trying too hard to point out like they're a couple. I mean, if Louie and Danielle are together, it really shouldn't look fake, but sometimes or most of the time it actually does. Next topic. Okay, so Harry's usually not on any social media. He barely tweets anymore and that's because he was in Dunkirk. He's been very busy, but he's no longer in the movie. Harry only tweets if something important happens. So basically a few days ago, I made a video and I was talking to you guys about not forgetting about the boys, don't lose hope in the band. And then after I posted that video on YouTube, Harry tweets, never forget. And I don't know why, but my mind really went to Harry watches my videos. Like, I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's because I was talking about never forget in my video and then he just types that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, Harry watches my videos. But then I felt so bad because Harry's tweet was for 9-11. Him saying never forget was just to remember that important date in history and all of the lives involved in it. And it was weird because I knew it was 9-11 on that day, it just didn't cross my mind in that moment. So I felt bad. But I wasn't the only one who went to that conclusion. A lot of other people were like, Sarah, what does never forget me? And it probably has something Larry related. But then I was like, guys, no, it has to do with 9-11. So it's not about Larry, we can all chill, not everything's about Larry, not everything's about like a secret thing. But I'm still happy Harry tweeted that because that's beautiful. And now, last topic. Okay, so basically there's this account called The Chainsmokers, and they posted this Larry Manip, and also a tweet that kind of pertains to Larry. So here's the Manip of Louie and Harry, and it's actually like a new one that's been going around the internet. It's really cute. And then this tweet says, the best relationship is when you can act like lovers and best friends at the same time. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because this happened. It says, Louie Tomlinson started following The Chainsmokers, on Instagram. So I mean, is that really a coincidence? After the chain smokers tweeted that thing that kind of pertains to Larry, and after they posted that Larry Man picture on Instagram, Louie follows them on Instagram. And this is not the first time Louie's done that. Like, I remember someone else posted this Larry Manip and Louie liked the picture or something like that and it said Happy Husbands as the tagline and then I think he unliked it. But I mean, just the fact that Louie followed an account that had a Larry Manip on it, I can't. So guys, this is just proof that Louie still does really subtle things to show us that he's still okay with us being Larry's. So in conclusion, no, Louie does not hate Larry's or Larry, and he shouldn't anyway. I mean, we're like 98% of the freaking fandom. Okay, that's it for today. I know there's more news to cover, but I'll just say it in my next video. If you guys have any questions or you want to send me stuff, just comment down below or go to my Twitter because I retweet a lot of theories. And like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>